Good morning, everyone. And welcome to a very special edition of our show, The Morning Show. Uh, on this Wednesday, March 13th, 2024, I'm Jace, along with Lex and Holly. And uh, we are thrilled to say, oh, God, I want to tear up already. Uh, we are thrilled to say Try we are uh, in person, Jason. OK, I know, I know <laughs> Lex. I, why the hell do you think I didn't come in? Why do you think I'm this? We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back to the show that she and Ian built our good friend. Marjorie punted. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. And good morning to everybody out there this morning. It's early. It's yeah. very early. <laughs> Marjorie, you used to do this. I don't know how. My alarm went off at 5.15 and I was like, this is insane. I yeah. can't do this. You did this for a long time. I think I, yeah. I, think I blacked out. I don't remember. <laughs> what? I don't remember. Well, I was watching your face. Oh. What was it? Oh, God, you know, Lex and we were just talking about how much we appreciate uh, sound bites and audio and, and making, uh, uh, kind of putting together a show and all the little elements. It's like a little orchestra. So we can appreciate a good open is what I'm trying to say. I was watching your face. That is a fantastic open. What was it like for you hearing that again? Um amazing because those are my little boys that's itchy and scratchy we we now do use their real names because they're grown men <laughs> they're men they're 32 and 30 and oh! <laughs> <laughs> i know I have, oh! I have long since gotten permission on uh i do a podcast with elizabeth reese called best to the nest and we use their names on the podcast and the first time i did it elizabeth was like oh, oh. <gasps> but their names are campbell and gar and i can never remember itchy was can uh, scratchy was Gar, Itchy was Campbell. And so, um, but they're, they're men and one lives in New York and one lives in Chicago. And it's just, uh, it's fun to hear their sweet, sweet little voices because oh. they don't sound like that anymore. <laughs> yeah. I think I would call them because when, when Lex and I started out, I was really confused by that. And I think I would come on the show, Marjorie. I would call him crunchy. I was like, I think I'd call, I call, right, right, Lex? We call them, I call them crunchy or something. I do remember that. I do remember that. Squishy and crunchy or something. And I, I, yeah. Well, just to go way back in history. So Ian used to call them uh, Ude and Kuse. <laughs> Zam Hussein. <laughs> and uh, so when I started on the show with him, I'm like, no, 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 we're not, we're not going to do that. And so itchy. Holy and 2003. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, I, they came up with itchy and scratchy from The Simpsons. So I was much happier with that. But I just, we wanted them to have their little private lives as they were growing up here because they grew up here in Minnesota. So yeah, yeah did um, smart. did did Ian. Did Ian have his hand in that open? Oh, Ian, that's Ian's open. That's right, yeah. Um, the, of course. The, so. the one thing that Ian was so, so good at, and I could appear, uh, he has been a produce, uh, producer, a professor at Kansas State University um, until he passed. And one of the things that he is just um, amazing is audio. I mean, he just, his, his audio work um, was always incredible. And he was 100 responsible. 100 percent responsible for all of the opens along with Rocco who was the production director and Amy Daniels before that um obviously don't give her any credit okay. but, uh, and Marjorie to take her okay. name right out okay. of it uh, no, no, yeah. thank, thank you thank you we're not absolutely come on. nothing for us for 10 years yeah we're um, not gonna get but it. Rocco who's the production director of course did everything <laughs> but Rocco and Ian were a, a great team so Still doing always... everything we have some clips to play today it's going to be so much fun yeah but you're so right about Ian he would also be very meticulous of oh. from from this point to this point oh, and then yeah. you're gonna you know yeah, edit it right next to this <laughs> clip that's from this point to this point and then pop the sound up because we used to be responsible for all of our promos too oh, that's remember right. that that's right so then we'd make the donuts and then exactly which clip to put in and you're right well, he was very precise everybody needs to remember this that i was basically responsible for nothing because i was broadcasting from home <laughs> So, let's, time, let's, let's be clear about that. <laughs> Ten o'clock, I was done. Ian was doing the promo clips. Ian was doing everything. I had you, it. Yes. you were like Alexis just said, Ian. You were basically a woman of the future. Yeah, you were living a pandemic life before I, the pandemic. Yes, yeah. when you could still actually go outside. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. I had a very interesting deal. So when when we Ian used to call me to do bits, and then a former general manager, I was at home. 
I was actually flipping houses. That's what I did when I moved here. Um, I had been working in news and I was tired and I needed a break. So I, and then Ian would call me to do bits. And the, one of the general man, the general manager at the time was like, you know, you guys sound good together. We should maybe try that on the air. And so that's when I started on the show. And when we went to the boys, as we often did, and they were in fourth grade and second grade, and we said, hey, this opportunity's come up. Um, Mom and dad would be on the radio. And the boys were like, well, who would take us to school? Like that, that doesn't sound right. Who would take us to school? That's how the at home started is so that I could still take the boys to school. So I would leave at seven. I would broadcast from home. Mm -hmm. The boys were sleeping. They would get up and make their breakfast at 745. I would actually leave the show and drive the kids to school. And it was all very modern in the sense that it was talk radio for women. So I was doing what women and many fathers as well were doing at 745 in the morning. They were taking their kids to school. So I loved it. I thought it was just perfect for the audience at the time. Yeah. Who were Were, living that life too? Yeah. Were you apprehensive at all, Marjorie? And I think I asked, I I remember asking you this. We we had a dinner at your house many, many years ago. And I I think I, I asked you this. Did you have any apprehension at all of working with your husband? No, but. but on the day to day? No, but I should have. Because <laughs> 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 well, can be really helpful, though, but, in yeah, some ways. But I mean, I just have such Marjorie. gratitude for it. <laughs> yeah. But one of the smartest things Ian did when we started working together, he's like, we're going to go into therapy. So we went into therapy right away. Did of, you? Oh, yeah, to smooth out our communication, to smooth out, which was so, so smart. So we went and talked to them. I mean, we'd already been married for, I don't know how many years. I mean, we were married 38 years before he passed. And it was really smart. He's like, we just don't want anything squishing out sideways on the air. Now, mind mm. you, it still did. And we can talk to Paul Black about that. But our <laughs> own producer... Coming up in the eight o'clock hour. Yes. <laughs> but but it was really smart. And so at the time I didn't have any, it was harder than I thought just because it, it were two really creative people, but, but Ian made it as easy as it could possibly be. Oh, cause Lex, can you imagine doing a show with on hell every day? No, <laughs> no, I really can't. <laughs> Let- Lex, go ahead and ask me that huh, question. Chase? No, <laughs> yeah, no, I, no. I was just getting there. I was just p- picturing it. And then picturing I know. You. No, yeah. No, no. Um, but that is important, though. I think we could make it work if there was some extra yep. support. And then that was, yeah. Yeah, was I mean, we didn't, stay so in, smart of Ian. we didn't stay in the therapy for 10 years. No. So we, but we were just sort of ironing out. The, the funny, The funny, tricky days are, and I think every marriage is, you fight sometimes at night. Mm-hmm. And the trickiest thing would be going <gasps> on the air the next morning. It comes quick, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I you, didn't even think about that because, yeah, evening fights happen. Evening uh-huh. fights happen. And that would always be strange because you just have to remember at that point, you're just remembering what is our job. Our job is to make people smile in the morning and to get off, you know, have a good start to the day. And we were not, you know, we weren't going to fight on the air ever. And you weren't really Um, feeling like that, but you had to do it. And it didn't happen often, but, but that's the reality of working with your husband. I mean, that's the absolute reality of it. You, you said, uh, I I knew there was going to be some point in this two hours that I was going to bring this up. It's something that I know Alexis holds in her heart, and it's something that I hold, and that is the advice that you gave the two of us, um, I, I think that day, the last day of your show, um, and you said, and we don't, we, we quote her a lot, don't we, Lex? And it was, in, in various ways, we, you said to us that one of the, the, the greatest gift of this uh, slot, this time slot, the morning drive, is that you have the ability to start people's day off with a smile or a laugh um is it is that something that you miss doing the show yes i mean i i yes i i hadn't thought about missing it but i think what i always think about is i look back and i just think what a privilege and mm-hmm. that attitude came from ian 100 percent. i mean he had been in radio a long time before i started in radio but i had been in enough media i'd been in television i'd been working in television before that and I think media is a privilege and how we use it is a privilege and how we make people feel is a privilege. Like I could never do sort of hate TV or hate radio mm. or radio that's a or radio TV. that's Confrontational. About, yeah, yeah. Conf, not hate. That's a better word about confrontational radio mm. or television. I mean, even when I was producing t- TV, I did food TV in, in Phoenix. Um, I was interviewing chefs and 
it was it was happy. I mean, it was just good stories. And that's where I live. I can't live in the other place. And to be able to sort of push that out through the airwaves is such a cool thing. And so mm-hmm. I I feel really blessed that mo- all of my media career has been about sort of that sort of positivity, which lifting I lifting up, lifting up and not yeah. tearing down. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, I, I, but radio is something special and I, I do miss radio in that sense. It's something pretty special, even different than, uh, TV. Cause I was doing, mm-hmm. um, produced pieces. So it wasn't live. There's something really awesome oh. about live <laughs> where you're just in yep. it We're and here. you're going and I that said was it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh. There we go. Lex, you've never done that. <laughs> I've touched the line and maybe gone over. <laughs> Holly, but, she's never done that, never, has she? Never. 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 No. But in that light, there's also another thing that I think about all the time, and I'll talk to you. you don't I don't know if you hear me, um, but you did you said to us, yeah, you're gonna be taking a nap and it will feel like a whole second day. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. so sometimes I'll wake up from my nap and I'll be like, time to start my second day, my yes! <laughs> Here we go. I mean, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but like my ten years right, on though. the air was like twenty. So oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Lex, so that's true. right. Yeah, we is. talk about that often, don't we? We Chase? do. Lex, I, I I talk to Marjorie too. I go, Marjorie, Tuesday part two has started. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Let's get this going. Yeah. Time to get uh, up. <laughs> uh, part two of this tribute uh, will continue right after this, and we're gonna have clips. Ian, I know you're listening. We have clips, my friend. Sure do. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Here's another Ian and Marjorie flashback promo. Wake up and laugh along. I wouldn't mind being Jennifer Aniston right now. I'm looking at her cover photo at GQ. She's naked except for a tie. Wait, have you seen the picture? No, I just saw the tie. (laughs) Ian and Marjorie. How long did you look at the tie? Six and a half hours. Weekday mornings from 5 to 9 on FM 107.1. Remembering the late Ian Punnett with a classic Ian and Marjorie moment. If athletes have athlete's foot, then what do astronauts have? You say the word then, because I'm not going to say it. Because I don't know, know what you're say. talking about. We don't have any idea what the dirty... Take the first word of astronaut okay. and put it with foot. And that's the kind of feet they'd have. If athletes have athlete's foot, then astronauts have ass foot. <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> okay. I like it. Ass foot. That's where you go with that? It made me laugh. (laughs) Okay, Jason Matheson is here. Jason? I totally don't get that. (laughs) That's okay. Doesn't that make sense? They have ass foot. (laughs) Remembering Ian Punnett all day today on My Talk 1071. Welcome back. It is a special day. It is a special uh, edition of Jason and Alexis in the morning. Uh, We're remembering our good friend, uh, Ian Punnett. Uh, Marjorie is here. Uh, Marjorie and Ian uh, built the show you're listening to, the time slot you're listening to, brick by brick by brick <laughs> by brick by brick by brick. And Alexis and I were just the squatters that moved in. Uh, <laughs> in 2013, we just kind of moved in and took over their lease. That's right. We, Marjorie sublet the show to us. That's so, right. yeah, we got to yeah. take it back. Jason. Thank you. You can have Lex and Holly. We're, we're good. Marjorie, you know, we'll get the we'll get the mortgage paperwork. We'll call David. We'll get it all. We're, we'll get it all worked right. out. I'll be no. starting at 830 and doing the show till nine. That will be perfect. <laughs> 8:39 uh, is the new morning show with Marjorie Punnett. Perfect, <laughs> Holly. Can you uh, put in the put in the order for the opens for that? Uh, yeah, that would be great. Also, tell yeah. us how to negotiate those hours, please. Yes. Please, yeah, yes. yeah. I'd like the open to be six minutes and a close six minutes. So I'm actually on the air for about ten. So oh, perfect. <laughs> wow, are you Kurt Cousins' agent? Let me tell you. Wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, we, we've been joking about Ian's, uh, not joking, but also admiring his mastery of, uh, of audio, his love of, as we call them clips, we were joking before you joined us and we can't wait to laugh with Paul Black about this, how Ian would give Paul, Paul, uh, producer Paul, a list this as long as the Bible of clips every day that Ian needed for the show, even though Ian would usually use, uh, maybe two or three of them <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, so Ian loved clips and Rocco, uh, uh, this is just so great. He went through every hard drive in this building looking for classic clips uh, to do right by Ian today. So we wanted to make sure we got in a few of those 
Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought this would be fun, Marjorie. We're going to spin a little wheel. I'm going to give you some descriptions okay. of some of these clips, and you pick one that you want to hear. Oh, okay. Fine. Okay. Um, so, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll spin the wheel here. Now, here are some of them, okay? okay. And, and, and and Rocco gave some cute names for them. The first one is called Bun. Marjorie talks about her future hairstyles. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ED is the next one. Uh, some Uh-oh. insights into the bedroom, question mark? Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, next, meetings. Marjorie thinks Ian has too many meetings. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Bossy chick. Not a lot of men are attracted to, quote, bossy chicks. Now, from those... That first sec- that first uh, section, what would you like to hear, Marjorie? Oh, I got to go bossy chick. Bossy chick. So here is a classic clip from Ian and Marjorie bossy chicks take a listen you know what? if i were the bodyguard's wife yeah. i'd even be good with my husband sleeping in kate goslin's basement really because yeah, why there aren't a lot of men that are attracted to um bossy chicks on that level really what about me i knew i was setting myself up for a joke <laughs> and i went ahead anyway boldly bravely thinking maybe this once he'll miss the opportunity <laughs> to, to talk about how much i love my bossy chick i'm not bossy <laughs> Listen to you, Mark. I'm not bossy. <laughs> Boy, did I just, I always just walked right into that. I don't even try, like, listen to that. I don't even say, I'm not bossy. I don't even try. Yeah. I'm not bossy. No. <laughs> you walked right into that glass yep. door. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yep. oh, goodness gravy. Oh, that's good. Is That's good. Okay, uh, another one. Again, we have left in this section, mm. Bun, E.D., meetings and i'll add a new one okay. uh phone jammer phone callers wanting to agree with ian having uh with ian having technical difficulties oh let's go there, <laughs> let's go there. <laughs> here we go hey jill uh what's wrong with that what's wrong with that jill jill <laughs> you good? Okay. Uh, let me try again. Jill, where are you with this? Is uh, is that? Do you hear him trying to be something that he's not, but but not insincere? I think it was sincere. I think. Oh, you're breaking up again. Oh, you're breaking up again. You're scaring. Isn't it great that I have that jammer that screws up anybody that agrees with you? <laughs> and I went into Radio Shack and I said, "Can I have one?" And they said, "That was our last one." My plan I, is working beautifully. And I said. Tell me about the woman who bought the last phone jammer. And I said, they said, what's this red haired jumpy chick? I'm like, yeah, I knew it. She's always smarter than me. She's always there first. Uh, they said she had a very phony accent. That must be you. Right. That's exactly what She's they said. She's a big phony, like Jake. Uh, <laughs> Man, the some old school references. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'd forgotten you used to call me the jumpy chick. <laughs> Did he? Pretty much my whole jumpy life I've been in. Well, when you have eight cups of coffee in the morning, makes oh. you a little jumpy. And yeah. I'm jumpy by nature. I'm jumpy. By- I'm like a water bug. I mean, you just Really? Think, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He so, called you jumpy chick? I don't remember that. Yeah, just in our private life. Oh, <laughs> just- oh. And it just came out over the air. But no, I just never could sit still. Still can't. I mean, I just move a million miles a minute, but yeah, um, it's so good to hear his voice. I cannot tell you. I just, um, I have so much gratitude for all the work that everybody's put into this. And it, it just, it's, he was a funny man. He was. So, but let's yeah. go there. Should we go bun? So you you, you want to go bun? Yeah. We're going to bun, bun? Okay. No, this is, it. yeah. Uh, this is Marjorie again, spinning the wheel of clips. Uh, this is Marjorie talking about possible future hairstyles. It's, here we go. How many hairstyles do you think you've had in your lifetime uh, so far? Seven. Mm-hmm. How many do you think you'll have before it's done? One. Okay. I'm going to bun next. You're going to bun. Oh, goody. <laughs> I've been waiting for bun. I know. I'm so I knew excited. You Lots of bobby pins. Oh, it's a man's <laughs> bunderland. That's what that is. <laughs> I know you're excited. I can't wait. Yeah, for my birthday. Get my hands on the bun. (laughs) (laughs) Did you transition to the bun yet? No. Your hair is so beautifully not yet. No. Not yet. Thank goodness. I kept. I kept. I kept the hair down 
kept myself sexy um, for my husband. Uh, let me tell you, if you were still on the shift, you would have adjusted to bud exactly. by now. Yeah, you would have. Uh, oh, yeah. You're exactly right. All three. Holly's <laughs> nodding. All three of us are uh, two two steps from, uh, from buns, yeah. From buns. Yeah, because can you yeah. believe, Marjorie, it is, uh, uh, well, let me look at the calendar, 11 years since you guys left the morning show. If it, 11 it, years. It honestly feels like yesterday. Like, just seeing you guys. It yeah. just feels like I was here yesterday and, and just being in the studio. It's, it's yeah. wonderful. It's wonderful. like a, a record, a needle, just you lift, yep. lift the needle up and exactly you put it back right. down and the same song is still exactly playing. Right. Exactly yeah. right. It's really wonderful. Uh, more clips, more memories, more laughing. It is our very special tribute uh, to our buddy Ian Punnett. Uh, it'll continue right after this. We're talking with Owen Wilson. How are you guys doing? Along with all your great credits, uh, you haven't directed yet, have you? No, I haven't directed. Is that on a list of things to do? or? Yeah, I, I think I would like to try that at some point. It's a lot of work. You could start off easy by doing, say, Rushmore 2 or Behind <laughs> Enemy Lines 2. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. Right, exactly. <laughs> Behind the Enemy Lines 2. And don't you love it that Ian's here to nag you? Are you writing? Are you directing? What well, else can you do? Like your You're stuff. a new father. You're not busy at all. Yeah, really. <laughs> I know. He's kind of he's giving me a complex here. <laughs> Remembering Ian Punnett all day today on My Talk 1071.